And is there any end to war in the in the near future? I mean, no. maybe not completely, but do, I mean, do you see it slowing down some? Because you talk about expanding into other countries that we have to continue to do wars and things, but we're expanding. Aren't we expanding technologically and scientifically and um, using the elements and the resources that we have in newer, broader ways all the time with technology moving as fast as it is? I I think that. Um the war in the future is probably going to be more of a religious war, okay, because of the problems in Europe with uh, Islam, mm -hmm. uh, the slow invasion uh, sort of thing. And, uh, you know, it's in Canada, it's in Australia. Uh, the, you know, the Japanese will not allow any uh, Muslims in there or people who are, you know, Islamic faith into Japan at all. Aren't you, isn't or, Japan 99% uh, natural born citizens, I believe? Yeah, well, they're very strict yeah. on who they let in, and yeah. they don't let in. Uh, they, there's a few Muslims in there, but they're very, very, you know, very restricted. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're and it, it's specifically because they don't want to have, you know, the problems that are associated with Islam and whatnot. And, you know, it's a smart move, yeah. I think, overall, unless you understand, unless you have a method. Of, see, the problem's not really with the Muslim people. The problem is with the religion itself that they're born into. You can't leave that. If you're born here, you can't leave that except that you and your family get under a death sentence as a, you know, uh, Well, there, there are ex some yeah, ex-Muslims in America. I mean, I'm going to say if you were like an Islamic state, oh, yeah, you'd be toast. But in, yeah. they come over to America and they're like, hey, I'm sort of Muslim, but not is anymore. Well, the thing I is... I don't make my daughters wear headscarves. I tried pork. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have my, my best friend actually is... Um, He's from Somalia. Um, he did grow up Muslim. Um, his whole family's Muslim. He doesn't eat pork. Um, he doesn't drink alcohol. I mean, they do all the good things. His sisters don't wear scarves. Um, you know, they don't cover themselves up completely. But, I mean, he still kind of stays within the religion. You know, he doesn't worry about people swearing, things like that. He's, you know, I, he's not super strict but you know he still goes to the pork thing he'll try to talk me out of eating pork actually because he'll be like well you know mike i know it's not a religion thing but you know pork's just a really dirty animal so you you know you shouldn't you shouldn't eat it but super nice guy super peaceful guy i would never you know i mean i trust him more than just about anybody on earth to well, be honest uh it's he could you can trust the person but uh trusting the religion okay is a different story 